Friends Two Sevens here, and uh, today we're going to talk about a movie, as we always do, and we're going to talk about a movie that I'm on the edge for. The movie is called Skyline, and it's from the Brothers Strauss, aka the visual effects guys from Hydraulics who gave us Aliens vs Predator Requiem, a movie which I didn't completely hate, but I found to be pretty good for a cheap thrills horror movie. It's not a, it's not the worst movie in the world, but it's not a good movie either. It's a guilty pleasure. And now they've made a horror movie. Another a science fiction uh, another science fiction horror movie. That today we're going to look at the two trailers, one of which just debuted today. We're going to look at the two trailers for the movie and just compare them. And here we go, the first trailer for Skyline. God help us all. Universal. Relativity. Rogue. <clears throat> the first trailer for Transformers. <clears throat> And how'd that work out for your pals? Pretty shots of LA. Okay. Stephen Hawking, astrophysicist and arguably one of the smartest people on the planet, went out of his way to warn people not to see this crappy sci-fi movie. Warned us about the possibility of aliens from outer space. This is seriously what the news channel devotes devotes its time to? Warnings about aliens? I mean I can see if this scene takes place in the middle of the alien invasion, but out of context, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Hawking says that if extraterrestrials visit us, the outcome might be similar to when Columbus landed in America. In other words, it didn't turn out too well for Native Americans. Really? You don't say? Pretty... Oh my god, they're even using the sound from Transformers. They're pretty desperate, aren't they? Skyline. Okay, what's this? Oh! My God, is that the scariest thing you've ever seen, or what? It's, that's just, that's just horrific. They're not even. It's just they're treating people like objects. It's just, how does this not scare the crap out of you? I just, I think my pants just got heavier. It's that scary. Oh, trust me, we won't be. Now let's watch the second trailer. Mm -hmm. Good establishing shot. Pretty images. Get it? It's just like that scene on Independence Day. Huh? 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 Yeah, I'd get used to comparisons to that movie if I were you. What is that? Yuck. What happened? He just disappeared. He started looking like one of those guys from the crazies. It was awful. Rogue. They haven't. They've been delivering a couple stinkers lately, have they? Well, MacGruber wasn't awful. Never said it was good. I just said it wasn't awful. Whoa! Cool spaceships. Oh my God. Hey, it's Donald Faison from Scrubs. 
How do you make the leap from Scrubs to a sci-fi slash horror movie from the Brothers Strauss? More pretty images. More cool spaceships. Reports are coming in. Every major city in the world is experiencing the same encounter. They're everywhere. The further we get out of the city... Yuck. The better off we are. Right. Whoa, sweet car alert. Alright, let's stop to look at the monsters. Wait, there's a, I think there are better shots coming up. We have no idea Hi, girls. Okay. Look at these guys. They got neon lights for eyeballs, apparently. And again, I, either the, if these aren't the monsters, I'm going to look like a total jackass. But, uh... They look like a cross between like a turtle, the Cloverfield monster, and those big hammer guys and those animals in Avatar, you know, who had the heads like a hammerhead shark, you know what I'm talking about? They're not the not the most menacing aliens in the world. And I think aliens are scarier when they're, you know, smaller and like human level and it's what they do that's scary, not how they look. These guys don't look intimidating at all, but this is coming from a guy who's like a total sci-fi buff who's seen like every alien under the sun. So let's continue. They have tentacles too. Don't you get it? We're at war. Dragon Wars? Please uh, not be Dragon Wars. And again, doesn't this image remind you of something from Independence Day? Comes a scary shot in cinema. Twelve, eleven, ten. What could it mean? Shouldn't it go ten, eleven, twelve? Now that we've watched the trailers, let's get down to the basics. This movie, the idea behind this movie, is probably one of the scariest things I've ever heard of. I mean, just. Look at if how are you not terrified by this? I mean, if you've seen the poster and you see all the buildings and the, all the windows are shattered and all the edges of the buildings have been torn apart and because all the people have just been sucked out of there, that is just scary. These are the guys who, in their last movie, slaughtered children and pregnant women. So we know they're not going to hold anything back. I mean, even if this gets a PG-13 rating, I doubt they're going to hold anything back. They're probably going to kill everyone in sight. But. It's just. The first trailer scared the living crap out of me. And it still does. It's just. It's terrifying. The idea behind this movie is terrifying. But. The second trailer. It does look a l like it's copying Dragon Wars. And Independence Day. And Transformers. And other big sci-fi giants. But. It has. It, I will admit, it has a catch to it. It has something that draws you in. I, I am, of course, meaning that literally, given that people get drawn up into the sky in this movie. But, I mean, it has good visual effects. It has pretty images. It has some pretty cool stuff. But, it's just the concept is just so terrifying. It's, it's so scary. It's not even funny. I just, I don't know. What do you think about this movie? Post in the comments what you think. Are you going to see this movie? Are you going to not? I'll just brush past that. But I'm on the fence about it. Maybe I'll check it out. Maybe not. It's just... It does look like one of the scariest movies I've ever seen or heard of in a long, long, long time. I mean, even other movies that are trying to be horror movies, like The Last Exorcism, don't look scary to me, but this does. That, that should be saying something. So, let me know what you think. Tell me if you're going to be seeing this movie or not. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, for me, it's maybe, maybe not. Prince 227 is out.